friends uh, today through this video we'll discuss the patterns of behavior so here is the flow chart or patterns of behavior so it is divided into two part that is individual and the second one is group so group is subdivided into acquired and second one is the stereotype stereotype is again subdivided into four parts that is spatial orientation reflexes instinct and the motivation Special orientation is subdivided into two that is kinesis and then second one is taxis. Kinesis has a two parts that is orthokinesis and clinokinesis. And taxis have several different parts that is phototaxis, phonotaxis, geotaxis, galvanotaxis, hydrotaxis, geomagnetaxis, taxis, tigmotaxis, thermotaxis, rheotaxis and chemotaxis. And then phototaxis is parted into six types that is tropotaxis, telotaxis, ferrotaxis, clinotaxis, manotaxis and nemotaxis. So in this video we will discuss each one one by one. So patterns of behavior with the response of st stimuli that is environmental plus hormones uh, and how they respond with respect to stimuli. Response in a different pattern or sequence with respect to stimuli is known as the patterns of behavior which may be the individual and the group. Individual is a learned behavior while group behavior is maybe the acquired and stereotype. Acquired behavior or the learned or receive, obtain, get or gain behavior during the their lifetime. While the fixed behavior or the learned or the repeat pattern is termed as the learned behavior. Characteristics of the stereotype behavior when an individual repeats the same pattern of behavior again and again, term as stereotype behavior, which is highly complex and have definite sequence or the patterns specific, species specific, initially stimulus, stimulus dependent, but may continue after when stimulus stops. Don't based on experience. Stereotype behavior is also uh, again come into the fixed action pattern behavior given by the Carl Lorenz. So egg laying behavior, grey land, goose, uh, roll out of eggs, move the neck back to their original position. These are the examples of the stereotype behavior. There are four types of stereotype behavior, special orientation, reflexes, instinct and motivation. So first one, the uh, special orientation of animal in a different direction, different direction and a movement of organism in a particular direction. So response to stimuli. Second one reflexes depends on the reflex action given by the Pavlov experiment on dog third one is the instinct and born behavior nesting or the nest building an example of the instinct behavior fourth one motivation the same species act on a different way or the action but stimuli is same known as the motivation so special orientation may be the kinesis and second is taxis Kinesis may be defined as a movement in which animal attain their preferred habitat without orienting with respect to source of stimuli, not in direction of stimuli. Taxes, the movement which are made up of at same fixed angles to the stimuli sources in direction of stimulus. So kinesis uh, refers to the uh, in the anti-direction of the stimuli and taxes refers to the in direction of the stimuli. So kinesis may be the orthokinesis and the clinokinesis. So, orthokinesis means straight or the upright position and the clinokinesis to make bend or turn in the orientation mechanism where speed of location is related to the intensity of the stimulus. Oniscus uh, or the wood lies is example of the orthokinesis. So, wood lies uh, the movement about a gauze, half of which maintain at high humidity and half at low and then they scatter rapidly over the dry half and after a while cluster at a damp place. So, clinokinesis, the, when the rate of change of direction of an animal increases as the intensity of stimuli increases. Example, maybe the flatworm, dendroxylom, expatious, accumulated at the darkened area where one side covered with the cloth. Figure of the clinokinesis in Eugelena sh shows the mo movement uh, or not towards or away from the stimulus. So next uh, figure is the orthokinesis in ammonocyte am larvae. So it can also be defined as the clinokinesis turning movement not towards or away from the stimulus. In this type of orientation, the rate of change of direction increases in proportion to the intensity of the stimulus stimulation. While the orthokinesis is the orienting mechanism where speed of locomotion is related to the intensity of stimulation.
next part is the taxes taxes uh, may be defined as the taxes are those orienting mechanism which occurs with reference to the direction of the stimulus so it is a locomotor response by which an animal orient itself towards positive or the negative um, response or the away from the stimulus from the particular stimulus are called as taxes so features of the taxes are the fixed action as well as the stereotype behavior must be orientation of whole body direction or movement guided by the external stimuli orientation directly proportional to the intensity of stimuli types of taxes first one is the photo taxes which may be the negative and positive response with the light Geotaxis is based on the force of the gravity which may be the negative and positive. Example are the gram beetle known as the calendra granary which is which shows the negative type of gravity. Phonotaxis is related with the sound production. Chemotaxis responds to the chemicals. Thermotaxis responds to heat. Thigmotaxis responds to touch. Hydrotaxis responds to moisture or the water. Rheotaxis responds to water current. Galvanotaxis responds to electric current. And geomagnetic taxis responds to earth magnetic field. Next part is the phototaxis. When successive com um, comparison stimulus intensity are taken as reference for orientation called as the clinotaxis. Examples are the maggot larva of the housefly shows negative phototaxis. So we can confuse between the clinotaxis and the clinokinesis. Clinokinesis is the movement uh, towards or away from the stimulus while the uh, clinotaxis is a turning movement in response to light. Propotaxis whole body movement towards or away from the source example plain area shows positive response to the water current carrying, carrying scent of food. Telotaxis involved orientation to a directional stimulus when only one of a symmetrical set of sense organs is operating. It is a goal orient, uh, directed orientation example are the honeybee in this one eye mark will walk upon a beam of light orientation. So is achieved by bending the body until the good eye is maximally stimulated. Here is a figure of the clinotaxis uh, shown by the planaria. Tropo, tropotaxis and planaria water current with food scent away and towards the stimulus. Telotaxis image remains fixed at one place in the eye regardless of the movement of the eye, movement of the head or body. Tropotaxis can also be defined as when a stimulus is received uh, simultaneously by two or more receptors of an ML, it can then compare and steer a course towards or away from the stimulus. Telosaxis is the orienting mechanism which keep a certain stimulus at a fixed place on a receptor, mostly the eye are called as telotaxis. Next one is the ferrotaxis, which uh, ferro means light. It is a sophisticated type of the phototactic orientation that resembles with a ship that navigates at night while the flashes from distant light. It is an example of the ferrotaxis. Example are the moth attracted to the light of candle. Menotaxis uh, is a light compact orientation based on the angle. So it involves an orientation of an organism animal at an angle to the direction of the stimulus example are the light compass response shows shown as homing ant lasius niger next one is the nemotaxis which is a landmark movement it is the ability to find a goal by referring to familiar landmass it is a form of the orientation based on memory so example are the neomys fodians commonly known as the water shrew the last one is the menotaxis, the orienting mechanism which helps the animal to maintain a constant direction by steering a course at constant angle to the incidence of the stimulus are called as the menotaxis. The, here is the uh, difference between the menotaxis and the nemotaxis. Nemotaxis is a landmark movement which is based on the memory while the menotaxis is the orienting mechanism based on the angle of memories. So... Here is the figure of the menotaxis in ants. So this is all about the patterns of behavior, their types with an elaborate manner. So thank you and keep watching.